So I happened to be in Orlando, Florida, when I realized that hamcation was taking place. So I did what any normal person would do. I jumped in an Uber and I headed on over. I realized I was there when I started seeing cars like this one. I bought a ticket and then I went to get in the line. Let me tell you something, it was a long, long line. I got there right at 9 o'clock when they opened the gate. After chatting with some of the local hams, they told me to check out Building A. And I did. And boy was it exciting. I got to talk to Bob Howell, and then I got to talk to Gordon West. We mainly discussed the good old days, back when CW was done in black and white. It was kind of like I was on an episode of Ham Nation. The ARRL was there in full force, recruiting anybody they could find. They also had a bunch of books for sale. Quite a setup, if you ask me. When I saw the folks from Diamond Antenna, I really was in my happy place. I just loved their products, and they had so many different things to look at and check out. They were really nice folks, too. The boys from r Electronics were there, and they had more Balfangs than I'd ever seen in my entire life. MFJ was there, too, and they had SWR meters and antenna tuners for days. Just piles and piles of them. The ham radio outlet people were very nice to talk to. They were showing off a couple of hot spots. I wonder how they got this thing through the airport security check-in. The special events guys seemed like they were pretty busy. I'm not sure what they were doing though. I went over and checked out Gigaparts, and they were probably the busiest place in the whole building. Maybe it had something to do with the Yesu Gigaparts van. I took a peek inside. Next I made it over to the Yesu booth, and I got to play around with a bunch of different HTs. One thing happened though, the F2DR that they had got stolen. So I couldn't check it out. I did play around with the 991A, which was cool. And talking to the guys that worked there, they hooked me up with this hat, but it's from some event in 2018. Quicksilver Radio had a pretty interesting setup. They had these hammo cans, or battery boxes with uh, radios built in, and all kinds of stuff to do your own, like a Lego kit. They were pretty cool, but the equipment seemed kind of jammed in there. I don't know if that's a project I want to do or not. They also had tons and tons of power poles. Power poles for everything. So I did load up one, I think it was a 30 pack, it might have been a 40 pack. But uh, they seemed to be moving a lot of these things, and everybody wanted some. I made my way over to the Buddy Pole booth. These guys were pretty cool. They had all kinds of antennas set up, and tons of different types of gear. Really quality stuff, or at least so it seemed. I'd love to pick some of it up one day. It seemed a little expensive, but well worth it. And again, everybody was really nice. Yeah, Tom liked the folks at ICOM had a 7300 and 9700 side by side. Folks could play around with them, which is pretty cool. And everywhere you looked, there was tons of antennas. Anyhow, that finishes up for Building A. I went outside and saw the ICOM ECOM 1. I was going to take it for a ride. The other buildings were pretty typical for a ham fest. The Zombie Apocalypse radio guys were there. And they had tons and tons of older Motorola type equipment, if that's your thing. Wolf River Coils had their stuff on display as well. Lots of interesting little things that you can hook up to your antennas. All for vertical type stuff, if that's what you're into. Might pick one of these up one day too. I kind of want to buy a little bit of everything. If old worn out laptops are your thing, you'd be in luck. They also had something for the ladies. They seemed pretty excited over this stuff. There were antiques of all kinds. I found this thing to be pretty interesting, but I didn't buy it. And then outside, miles and miles of this stuff. Lots of friendly folks selling all kinds of stuff. I didn't make it to any of the uh, forms or presentations. I was too pressed for time. Anyhow, I had a good time, talked to a lot of interesting people, and got to see all kinds of good products. Anyhow, if you like this video, go ahead and click thumbs up or subscribe, or leave a comment below. Tell me how much you hated it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.